What would you think if I told you there's a creature capable of erasing fear from your brain? No, this isn't science fiction, and it's already happening inside brains just like yours. There's a parasite that's probably already in your brain, and it might be hacking your emotions, your decisions, and even your fear of death. Welcome to the world of Toxoplasma Gandhi. Sounds like a Pokemon, but acts more like a James Bond villain. And guess what? If you've ever cleaned a cat's litter box, you're already part of the experiment. Toxoplasma Gandhi, Toxo for friends, is a microscopic parasite. Its life goal, very simple. Reach the intestines of a cat. Why? It's the only place where it can reproduce sexually. <laughs> Nothing more romantic than that. But there's a problem. To get there, it has to infect rodents. And rodents are terrified of cats. Their noses basically act as feline alarm systems. But when Toxo enters a mouse's brain, something extraordinary happens. Studies show the mouse stops being afraid of cats. Worse, it becomes attracted to the smell of cat urine. Now, imagine being that mouse for a second. Your whole life, you've known one fundamental truth. Cat equals death. It's in your DNA, in your deepest instincts. It's like if a human suddenly lost their fear of fire and started finding flames comforting. It's not that the mouse becomes stupid. It can still avoid other predators, find food, build nests. But when it comes to cats, it's as if someone completely deleted that page from its survival manual. Biologically speaking, it's genius. Toxo turns the mouse into a willing snack, a kind of harmless kamikaze. It's the first food delivery service in history. Mouse-to-mouth -mouth guaranteed delivery. The cat eats it. The parasite reaches its destination, Toxo wins, the mouse loses, the cat enjoys. Mother Nature applauds. And here's a chilling detail. Toxo doesn't change its host's behavior right away. It nests in the brain and stays there, silently, for weeks or even months. It doesn't strike, it doesn't rush, it waits. Or rather, it activates only when the time is right, with a precision that feels strategic. But Toxoplasma isn't intelligent. It's worse. It's brilliantly automatic. It doesn't need to think. Evolution has already done the thinking for it. But here's where it gets creepy. Toxo doesn't just infect rodents. It infects us too, and in huge numbers. According to some estimates, one in three people in the world is infected with Toxoplasma. More common than herpes. Almost as common as bad takes on the internet. One and a half billion people. Do you know what that means? It means that if Toxo decided to host a global meeting, it would have more participants than any religion, any political movement, any social network. It's the largest secret organization in the world, and none of its members knows they're part of it. Plot twist. While you're watching this video, the parasite might be watching with you. Cats are perfect hosts. Toxo releases tiny eggs called oocysts in cat feces. Humans accidentally ingest them through undercooked meat, unwashed vegetables, or... <sighs> your beloved kitty's litter box. So what does it do? No, we don't get eaten by cats, at least not in most cases. Toxo lodges itself in the amygdala, the part of the brain that processes fear. Studies published in major scientific journals suggest that infected individuals show reduced risk perception, slower reactions to danger, higher attraction to risky behavior, reaction time slowed by 10 to 15%. In countries with high infection rates, more fatal car accidents have been reported Infected groups also show a greater tendency toward entrepreneurial risk. So yeah, your bold startup idea might have been inspired by a parasite, Toxoplasma, the business coach you never knew you had. But here's the real stroke of genius. Toxo doesn't just make you reckless. It makes you selectively reckless. You still look both ways before crossing the street, but maybe you wait a little less. You still assess investment risks, but that little voice saying, maybe this is too risky, speaks a bit more quietly. You're still yourself just with slightly tweaked settings. It's so subtle, you never even notice. It's the perfect hacker. It gets in, rewrites a few lines of code, and gets out. And you keep thinking every decision is yours. But wait, you thought that was it? No, friend. This is where the superpowers begin, because this parasite can change your taste, your emotions, maybe even your Spotify playlist. This is where it starts to get really unsettling. Toxo doesn't just disable fear. Some studies suggest it can change what you like, what motivates you. What scares you? Even alter your dopamine levels, the chemical that regulates pleasure and reward. Put simply, it might rewrite your personality. Some studies report increased neuroticism in women, anxiety, unstable mood, pessimism, impulsivity in men, reckless decisions, risk-taking without calculation. In other words, 
She worries when everything's fine. He dives in when everything's going wrong. Toxo, the couple's secret influencer. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe not. But there's more. Some research links Toxoplasma Gandhi to serious mental disorders like schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, bipolar disorder. A 2012 study found that people with schizophrenia are 2.7 times more likely to be infected. Causation or correlation? We still don't know. But the connections are there. And they're disturbing. Because they force us to ask an uncomfortable question. How much of what we think, feel, and decide is truly ours? And how much is just an outside input? A line of code written by a parasite. Your brain. Original hardware. Pirated software. Let me tell you a curious detail some researchers have started to notice. People infected with Toxo seem to experience more intense dream activity. And in some cases, they dream about cats. This isn't a joke. It's as if Toxo keeps working even in your sleep. <laughs> as if it uses those hours to perform maintenance on your operating system. So that time you woke up from a dream about a cat and thought, well, that was weird. Maybe it wasn't so weird after all. But don't panic. In most cases, Toxo causes no symptoms. It just sits there quietly, camps out in your amygdala, eats chips, and watches Netflix. But if you're immunocompromised or pregnant, it gets serious. In those cases, Toxo can cause blindness, neurological damage, miscarriages. That's why pregnant women are advised, don't clean the litter box. And here we get to the practical question. How do you know if you've got it? The short answer is, you don't. Not without a specific blood test that looks for antibodies against Toxoplasma gondii. And even then, the test only tells you if you've ever been exposed, not whether the parasite is still active. But there are some indirect signs you might notice. Have you become more impulsive in recent years? Started taking risks you never would have before? Changed your mind about things that used to scare you? Of course, these changes could have a thousand explanations. Maybe it's just personal growth. Or maybe there's a roommate in the control room. Can it be cured? Yes, but only in the earliest stages. Once the parasite settles in the brain, it's there to stay. Like a silent roommate that never leaves. Should we be worried? Yes. Parasites are the most underrated villains of the biological world. They've evolved to control, manipulate, and hack creatures a thousand times their size. Toxo is just one of many organisms that have learned to control other living beings. Fungi that turn ants into zombies. Wasps that lay eggs inside cockroach brains. And yes, a parasite that might be tweaking your fear right now. So, the next time you feel bold, reckless, or you suddenly feel like copying Ozzy Osbourne, who, in a challenge to see who could do the craziest thing, snorted the line of ants, stop. And ask yourself, is this really me? Or is it my parasite? So let's recap. There's a parasite living in your brain that can rewrite your personality, and you can't kick it out. It's invisible. It's quiet. The question now is, what else is in there that you don't know about? How much of who you are is truly you? Subscribe if you want to find out, or just ask your parasite. He always knows what's best for you.